Well, soon you'll hear a cacophony of cicadas. That sounds we haven't heard here for 13 years as trillions of the insects emerge from the underground homes. Can't wait. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane is live and local. Lisa, we've been hearing a lot about this year's emergence. Yeah, we have because actually this year the 13 year cyclical cicadas and the 17 year old periodical cicadas are actually going to be emerging at the same time. But that 17 year cycle brood actually doesn't live this far south. So here in Alabama, we're not going to see that double emergence, but we will still see and hear hundreds of million cicadas in just a couple of weeks. The last time we saw this in Alabama was 2011. This year's cicada emergence is expected to be much the same. If you were in an area that saw a lot of the insects, then you'll most likely see a lot next month. In the thickest areas, uh, they literally will be hanging from the trees and dropping off. If you really are in the thick of it and you see it, you won't forget it. University of Alabama entomologist Dr. John Abbott says the cicadas will soon meet hatched in 2011, dropped on the ground where they burrowed and have been feeding on tree and shrub roots since. They'll all emerge as adults. And that song they sing? He says that's the males calling all females looking for a mate. While they're looking for love, many will be eaten by predators. Animals from dogs and raccoons to birds and snakes will feast. Some of them will certainly lose their lives to, to predation, but uh, most of them uh, will survive, be able to mate and reproduce and, and uh, get their genes into the next generation, which is what they want to do. So does the emergence of all that potential food mean we'll also see more predators like snakes and lizards? There is a chance because in, in areas where they're super dense, it is again like an all-you-can-eat buffet and so it will attract predators. You may see some, you know, more higher numbers of certain predators than you would normally. Now, Dr. Abbott says while cicadas may actually be a nuisance, they're really not a big problem. They don't bite, they don't sting, and they don't really cause that much damage even to crops. The, they will mate and the females will lay their eggs during the four to six weeks they are above ground. Then they will all die and the cycle will repeat itself again in 2037. Live in Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.